want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hey guys, Jimmy O here from Joe Blow. Now let's talk Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage is something special. It's hard not to find joy watching him on screen. Whether you are checking out his less than acclaimed flicks, like, you know, like the Wicker Man remake or the Frozen Ground, or you may just be entertained by the many characters he's played that are ferociously alive with energy. You know, like Raising Arizona, Con Air, Leaving Las Vegas, The Rock, whatever. The list goes on and on and on. I'm a massive fan of the guy. And now, he has one of the most enjoyable crowd pleasers I've seen in a while. The unbearable weight of massive talent is super meta, laugh out loud funny, and even offers a few touching moments. Director and writer Tom Gormican, along with co-writer Kevin Eaton, have crafted a satisfying bit of escapism made for fans of Mr. Cage. Even if you aren't in on his shenanigans, you'll still find something cool with this one. Nicolas Cage needs a good role. The actor is desperate to find the perfect film to bring his career back on track. Although he keeps saying he never left whenever someone mentions a quote, comeback. When he's turned down for a role in a new film from a director which Nick admires, one of the film's fun cameos by the way, he is devastated. Even his ex-wife Olivia, played by Sharon Horgan, and his daughter Addie, Lily Mo Sheen, realize that maybe he needs to move on and figure out his life going forward. All this only convinces him to take on you know, an unusual job request. He'd get paid a lot of money to spend time with a fan. The fan in question is played by Pedro Pascal, and his name is Javi Gutierrez, billionaire with deadly ties to horrendous acts. Once Cage arrives, he shockingly bonds with Javi until he's unwittingly enlisted to help a couple of CIA agents bring this possible criminal down. Yeah, there's a bunch of insanity going on in this flick. Does it work? Well, let's talk about it. Massive talent may be one of the best modern vehicles for Nicolas Cage. While the man has certainly had his fair share of flops, he's also currently doing some of the best work of his career. From Pig to Mandy to Willy's Wonderland, the actor has fully embraced the bizarre in a beautiful way. It's really rather incredible to watch. His performance here? It's really honestly fantastic. Not only just as himself, let me just say without giving too much away, his take on quote Nikki is a lot of fun. And it only helps with the brilliant chemistry he shares with his co-star Pedro Pascal that brings it all together. Pedro is sensational. The actor brings warm and gleefully charming energy to his mega fan. It's not at all hard to believe in this outlandish nature or this insane plot, especially because they're so damn good together. The excellent comedic timing of both of these fine actors is truly remarkable to watch. Another performance that stands out is the lovely Sharon Horgan. What could have been a throwaway role becomes one of the most important performances in the film. As perhaps the quote straight man in this wild story, Miss Horgan brings grace and heart to this tale. As well, young Lily Mo Sheen is terrific as a daughter who feels burdened by her famous father's shadow. Yes, this is an action film at heart, yet it also manages to find a level of humanity in the rich relationships that it explores within the action comedy genre. And with all the references to nearly every single one of Cage's previous films, it's easy to get swept away by the cheerful and exciting nature and energy this movie offers. Honestly, my only minor complaint is the side story. Considering you have to find a way to have a chase scene and an action sequence here and all there and all that going on, the plot is more than a bit convoluted. Near the end of the second act, it felt as if the film was trying a bit too hard. If anything, this story could have lost 10 to 15 minutes for the runtime and it would have not affected the final product at all. A movie about the fictional world of Nicolas Cage could have been many things. A comedic buddy comedy with action sounds about right, but it's not nearly as weird as you might think. With all the references about Nick's resume and the villainy involved, you may be surprised at how sweet this flick is. With the focus being on Nick and his family or with Javi, that's when you really see the spark. You didn't need all the ridiculousness necessarily, but it doesn't hurt. The unbearable weight of massive talent is a feel-good movie-going experience. The violence is minimal, but the action is decent. The story is packed, and there's much to enjoy. Perhaps a bit too much. Nicolas Cage and Pedro Pascal are delightful together. If anything, this is a story about how important friendship is. It's also a terrific reminder of what a glorious career Mr. Cage has had and continues to have. The actor has no issue about making fun of himself, and it's incredibly satisfying as a viewer to be allowed to be kind of involved in on the joke. 
It's also a lark that will perhaps register with most moviegoers, even if you aren't a Cage fan. Massive Talent is an entertaining bit of escapism that most of his fans will enjoy. Well, fuck it. All of his fans will enjoy. Even if you aren't necessarily a huge fan of his work, you're going to find a healthy bit of humor in this crazy little comedy. It's got a lot of heart, it's got a lot of soul, and it's really just pretty gosh darn entertaining. I'm going to give the unbearable weight of Massive Talent I guess the unbearable weight of a massive eight. What's the worry here, Nick? You've lost some of your talent as an actor? No. <laughs> what did he say? He says he loves you, but he went in a different direction. I'm done. I'm quitting acting. Oh, man, I'm driving through the hills. I'm sorry. One more time. We got another offer. It's a million bucks. It's to attend a wealthy gentleman's birthday party. The guy that owns this house, what's his name? Javi. Javi. Mr. K. Excuse me. Is Javi going to want me to, uh, you know? I'm not sure I understand. Look, it's Javi. I am Javi. Nick Cage. God, this place is stunning. What is your favorite movie? That's one of those questions that's impossible to answer. You can't just limit it to one. Imagine me and you. I do. Is it too much? Is this supposed to be me? It's grotesque. I'll give you 20,000 for it. I didn't know that was a cliff! We could have died! <laughs> I'm in position. I think that's the actor Nick Cage. Nick Cage? I love you! Have you seen Croods 2? I'm 44 years old. Why would I see Croods 2? I've seen Face Off and Con Air. What do you guys want? We're with Central Intelligence. Do you know who you're spending time with? One of the most ruthless men on the face of this planet. I need you to help the U.S. government. Let's kill this love. Find a way into that room, Nick. I can see myself doing more of this stuff. I think I might have a real gift for it. Good, because we got another mission for you. No, 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 no. Your friend is working for the U.S. government. Don't lie to me. Are those my golden guns? They're my golden guns. I don't want to kill you. You're the last person I want to kill. I love you. I love you. I'm Nick Frigger.